Hi, I'm Paul with RackAttack.com, and this is the Thule Evo Flush Rail Base Roof Rack System for the 2021 through 2022 and likely beyond Genesis GV80 with factory installed flush side rails. This system comprises three components, starting with the Evo Flush Rail Foot Pack, set of four, and the Wing Bar Evo Load Bars, set of two, available in silver or black and the vehicle specific fitting kit. And I'll go over all these components in detail, starting with the fitting kit, which includes a set of four of these contoured rubber base pads and four sets of these rubberized metal side rail brackets and four of these barrel fasteners. These components have numbers that are assigned to them, which correspond to numbers shown in the instruction sheet to help with the installation. And I'll go over that installation with one of the feet here. So I'll just first remove the outer cover and inside the foot, you see we have a threaded post there. Now these components with the fit kit not only have the numbers assigned to them, but they also have letters which will help to determine the order of installation, starting with the inner bracket, which is letter A. And I'll just set that right into place inward there. Next we have B, which is the base pad and that just presses to the underside of the foot. C is the outer bracket. And then we have the barrel fastener that will hold those parts in place. The next step would be to install the foot onto the load bar. Here we have the wing bar Evo load bar. This one we've cut down so that you can see the extruded aluminum box beam construction. There is a track that runs along the top of the bar, which is accessed by opening the end cap, allowing you to slide in the appropriate hardware in order to mount certain accessories directly to the top of the bar for a very clean, integrated method of attachment. Now, when installing the foot, we'll take off this end cap. We have an underbar slot. Within that slot, we have a measuring device. The numbers on the measuring device are not referenced in the instruction sheet. However, you can use those to help to manually center the load bars on your roof when installing. Now we'll go ahead and slide the foot onto the bar. And at the, that point, we'll go ahead and install the end cap. Installing the end cap at this point will act to prevent the foot from slipping off the end of the bar while you're maneuvering the crossbars with the loose feet on the roof of the vehicle. Okay, so the next step would be to begin tightening that barrel fastener. And when you tighten that barrel fastener, it will simultaneously grip to the side rails as well as grip the foot to the load bar. This tool that I'm using is included with the foot pack and has a unique handle that will click once it's reached full tightness. Generally, you tighten about 50% on one side and 50% on the other side, the goal being to tighten each side equally. And then once you've gotten completely tight, the handle will click. And that indicates that you've reached full tightness. Okay, now you'll notice there is some exposed track. And that track can be filled in with rubber that is included with the load bars in order to help maintain the best possible aerodynamics even underneath the load bar. Okay, now we can go ahead and put the outer cover back into place. That snaps back in place. Give the plastic plug a quarter turn to hold that cover in place. You do have the option to replace that plastic plug with a Thule one key system lock cylinder. These cylinders are sold in matched sets so that you can have your roof rack and accessories and carriers that are all part of Thule's one key system, all key matched and conveniently lockable with one key. All right, so those are all the main features of the Thule Evo Flush Rail Base Roof Rack System. This product along with the full line of Thule products are available at RackAttack.com. Please see the link in the video description for all your buying options. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and also consider subscribing. We have over 2,000 
rack-related videos, and we upload new videos weekly. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.